I would say that <clears throat> continuity is actually the most uh, interesting aspect of this continuity. Now, China has a very long <clears throat> history, the oldest uh, civilization which is developing further. And then, of course, the question of continuity opens up also the aspect of adaptability. I would say continuity in connection with the ability of an old civilization to adapt to modern needs, to new times, uh, to requirements of, in our case, 21st century. So I would, I would choose continuity, it being understood that continuity requires a very wide variety of uh, various adaptations. And, you know, China has shown over centuries its ability to adapt. It was not always um, adequate, but now with the hindsight of the past two or three centuries, China has found a very interesting and a very promising method of adaptation. And I believe that that's really a very good promise for the world as a whole. Interesting. So continuity will be the key words that you chose. Yes, I think the key here is adaptability and innovation. And of course, China has demonstrated its capacity to innovate and to adapt particularly in the last few decades. So the, the, there is a potential there and it's proven. It's not something imagined. imagined. It's, it's a proven capacity to take advantage of its long history, long continuity, which has always been linked to adaptation.